Hey everyone, in this video we're going to look at the relationship between length and strength and how length will be able to affect the compressive capacities of a column or member. Uh, we're also going to be looking at gross area and net area and what they mean in terms of compression and compressive capacity. And lastly, we're going to look at residual stress and how that affects compressive strength. Now, length is very important in compression. Uh, previously, when we looked at capacity and tension, we mostly dealt with only our cross section. However, when we look at compression, we also have to deal with uh, flexural and local buckling. So length actually becomes very important. Now, there are three types of so length categories in columns, uh, first one being short, second one being intermediate, and third one being long. So of three types, uh, intermediate is actually the most commonly used in uh, real life applications. Now if we can move on to the graph here, you can see that um, uh, it's a strength versus length diagram. Short, diagram, uh, short columns have very high strength. So they're the ones that are most likely to reach yield and potentially locally buckle. But as we move on to intermediate and long columns, we'll see a huge drop in terms of strength. The long columns in particular will not ever reach yield, yield, uh, yield load because they are affected by flexural buckling to a very large degree. So short columns are likely to yield or locally buckle. Uh, the long ones uh, are, are not likely to yield instead and will likely flexual.